guys, it's Carbo Rhino and welcome to this preview of the new game by The Red Joker which just launched on Kickstarter. It's Cyber Odyssey. Cyber Odyssey is an open world cyberpunk board game for 2 to 4 players with lots of investigation, combat and strategy. As an open world board game, it's for those of you who enjoy heavy games with lots of different stuff to discover in every session and with a, an entire universe to dive into. By the way, the copy that I have in my hands is a prototype and it's not entirely finished, so the final version of the game might be a bit different. So, in Cyber Odyssey, each player controls a team of one to three agents in an organization that seeks to solve the crimes occurring in New Eden. New Eden is a dangerous place in the late 21st century and it consists of five boards. We've got two for this video and each of them represents a specific city district. During each turn of the game, a new event happens in each district, while the previous ones still might be ongoing, and we've got TV news broadcasting riots, meetings, crimes, governor's elections campaign, and so on. Each event plays out very differently, and it indicates which actions are available for the players to take in a round. The agents each player gets into their team can perform different actions based on their skills and features, so it's important to eventually get more than one agents in your team and to choose them wisely, so to create a kick-ass team with complementary features. In the districts, your main goal is to find clues allowing you to resolve investigation cards and bring yourself closer to winning by pushing the investigation. The players have 12 days or 12 rounds to be the first to resolve every investigation card of their organization. If no player manages this before the end of the 12th round, then the points earned from the investigation cards will tell who's the winner. The flow of the game is pretty straightforward, however, there is different actions the agents can take and there is different mechanics within those actions and new events every day or round in the game. Basically, in a round, uh, after getting a new event for each district, players choose a strategy card to play which determines their initiative and the turn order as well as what other actions they can take as compensation when they have less than three agents in their team. Then players activate their agents in turn order, so to investigate the heart of the city and they may do some hacking, they may do some espionage, they may engage in tactical combat, work to earn money and many more. It's helpful for a lot of actions to also get stuff from shops like weapons, cyber implants, equipment, clothing, vehicles and software as they can increase some of the agent's stats. Depending on the threat level of a district at a given time, agents may go around safely by paying a taxi, like any of us common people, or in more dangerous situations they need to have a personal vehicle so to travel or participate in car chases and capture suspects. To resolve a car chase, the player draws a trip card and adds the speed value to the value of the topmost card of the event card of that district and compares it to the agent's piloting skill value along with any modifiers. Players can also send agents with a combat skill to a tactical location along with other teammates with the goal of taking out any opponents present. The combat action has a rulebook of its own, so I'm not gonna fully explain it, but we're gonna talk about some of the tactics. You've got different sections in each combat board in which you can place your agents and depending on the different positions, you have offensive or defensive modifiers for the agent that occupies them. It's important not only where to move on the board, but also when and at what stage of the combat. There's three rounds of combat and each round begins with each combatant getting a tactical card. Those cards show the available actions that can be taken as well as the initiative order for the combat. Then players can play combat cards from their hand and this gives you a number result combined also with the weapons and gear you might have. What will happen at the end of the combat is dictated by a combat chart based on that number result. It can deal damage and also suppression tokens which are used to block out actions on agents' tactical cards, making them unusable. The combat is pretty important as you can get clues that are near the tactical board. 
Based on their actions, players get clue tokens and they can place them in the investigation folders of their organization. Each player records the values of the clue points stored in their completed files and how and where they place them is up to them. When a case is complete, it is then turned into investigation points and depending on the color and the symbol of all the clues in a case, they can get an added bonus. Like here, for example, that we got two of the same color and symbol plus a joker, we get double the normal points. These points we then spend to resolve investigation cards if also the conditions on the card are met. Basically, accumulating those investigation points will bring a player closer to victory when the game reaches the 12th round or when a player manages to resolve all of their investigation cards. So this was a small taste of Cyber Odyssey. If you'd like to know more about this uh, open world cyberpunk adventure, I'll have the link to the Kickstarter campaign page in the description below so you can check it out. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.